let's level and fill the cake. I'm using a carrot cake with the vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream frosting. Add a little bit of buttercream just to fix the cake. Then fill it with your favorite filling, in this case Swiss meringue buttercream with a little bit of vanilla flavor in it. the sides and the top of the cake and get it ready to be covered with sugar paste. some white sugar paste in order to cover your cake. I'm using a little bit of cornstarch for the sugar paste not to stick to my mat. Using a cake smoother, smooth the sides and the top of the cake before removing the excess of sugar paste. Cut out the excess and your cake will be ready to decorate. Hello my sweet friends, so here is my cake already covered and ready to be painted but before we start painting the cake I wanted to prepare everything for the painting and also start by painting in a little piece of sugar paste so you will see what we're going to do. I always recommend you to practice on, a, on another piece of sugar paste if you're going to paint directly on the cake so you, are, you feel sure of your technique. This technique we're going to be using today is um, one stroke uh, flower painting. For this one, I'm not going to dissolve. I actually have this big palette here because I'm going to need room in order to blend the colors together in the brush. I'm using my Serat brush that I love. They're really, really good. And I have a little bit of blue and a little bit of uh, pink. This is gel color food. And I also have some white from... PMI. It's a, um, <clears throat> sorry, it's a concentrated uh, paste of a white uh, color for, it's used for royalizing, but you can use it also for painting. And uh, this is based on titanium dioxide or dioxide titanium, I don't know how you call it, but it's quite thick. So we're not going to dissolve it with gin, with water or with any other alcohol. We're going to use it directly. So I'm going to take a little bit of the white and the blue and I'm going to create like a paste blue color, as you can see here, right? Okay, I'm going to clean the brush now. In water, just clean it in some water. And this is what I'm going to do. Now that my brush is clean, I'm going to take in one side of the brush blue, the blue I just created, Right, and in the other side of the brush, I'm just going to take white, right? Can you see there, white and blue. And now I'm just going to blend it always to the same size so we don't put the two colors together. You see this effect? This is what's gonna happen with our flower here. So I'm just going to keep blending. Take a little bit more of white, a little bit more of blue and blend it again. My, once my colors are blend, I'm going to start making the flowers with a very simple movement. I'm going to leave the black, the sorry, the white for the inside of the flower. So I'm going to do like a curved. Okay, one. Two. See that I'm always doing it to the same size. Side, sorry. Uh, let me just take a little bit more white and blue. Blend it again. 
the white goes to the inside The white goes to the inside and I have this is just a curve and my my brush is always in the same angle uh, there you go look how simple it is to create a flower using this technique then we're gonna add some more details but this is a very simple flower we're gonna create flowers like this around the cake and then some green leaves and um, some little details to finish our paint. So with this, I'm going to leave you and now I'm going to show you a time lapse of how I do this on the cake. to make some closed pink flowers or more like button flowers with pink exactly using the exactly same technique so i have my white food color in here and i have some pink in here i'm just going to take a little bit more of the white one with the pink and mix it to create a nice shade of pink we're going to try it out here on the piece of sugar paste as well Okay, once I have the color that I want, now I'm just gonna clean my brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of pink in one side and a little bit of white in one side. If you want bigger flowers, just use a bigger brush. That's all you have to do. Now blend it together. I'm going to take a little bit more pink and white. And now we're going to do the same, but just half of the flower. So it's going to be something like this. One. Maybe the middle one will be bigger. Two. And three. Because from here we're going to do the base of the flower. So we're going to do that also on the cake. practicing some leaves I have green and yellow so I'm going to do the same with the green I'm going to take some green and some white and I'm going to create a shade of green with some white in it blend it and now this is a very simple leaf that you can make it's kind of similar to what we've been doing with the flowers but we're going to give it some sort of curve. You see? This one. So I'm gonna show you this that is way more simple. So we have the white in one side and the green in the other. And we're just going to go like this and then like this and then you have to curve it a little bit something like this okay i'm not sure about these leaves but we'll make them work i think i'm going to change 
to now there you go there you go we need to curve more so this is why i always said it's good to practice in a piece of sugar paste before right so i'm just going to take some green and some white in this side of the brush and this is what you do in an angle you press you make a curve and then you bring it up okay then to the other side you make the curve and then you bring it up and there you have a leaf or you can do half of a leaf like this one here just get some more let's do half bring it up this is very simple i think is the easiest one for us to make you do a curve and then you bring it up okay this will make sense at the end when we do all the little details so we're going to do these kinds of leaves what i want to do is to add to some of the leaves a little bit of yellow so let me just mix a little bit of yellow here and then we're going to do a mix of yellow and green right let's see if like this you can see better the curve because it's not white see so you press you curve and you bring it up and then you have your leaf okay so we're going to do both some in yellow and some with white <music> flowers and the leaves are done I'm just going to do one side because I'm planning to put some uh, flowers in the other side just take this out of here and this out of here I think you can see better if I put it here in the middle now I'm going to bring this all together with a little bit of green in a very thin little brush so the idea is just to start bringing all these little flowers together and the leaves whoops sorry about that and the leaves and just hold it so steady <music> here to these flowers as well for the center and with some pink but this is not mixed with what this is only diluted with a little bit of the gin i'm just going to add i will add some little details here and there just to complete the design nothing related to the flowers just to give some movement i love these finishes like little dots here and there they just look cute like around the flower like this one is too pink so i think i will give this one a few it's too dark i don't like it i'm just gonna mix it with this one here and blend it just to give a shadow here some shadow to this side as well maybe here see just a little bit of shadow here and there to this one probably this one too okay 
There you go. Very simple way to make uh, or to paint some flowers on a cake using a one stroke technique. And this is how you make these cute little um, flowers. You can paint them uh, very simple with the one stroke technique. And you can do it all on top of the cake. You can do it around the cake. You can use different colors. It's very simple, but it's very cute. And I, uh, I will sh I will now finish the cake and I will show you how it's going to look at the end. Hope you like this uh, small tutorial and I hope to see you again here in the Arcade Experience channel.